What's up guys? Now first I'd like to say thank you for your support on the last burnout video. That was amazing. You guys are just blowing it up. Just want to say thank you guys. But in today's video, I will be taking my car to the dealership to have its first oil change in the car. I know I'm not at 3,000 miles yet like I wanted to do it, but I just can't wait to get you know the paddle shifters put on. So I, I just want to do it now. And by the time we get to the dealership, it'll be at 2,500 or actually a little bit over that. And I still have 70% left here, but you know, you know, a lot of people say you should do your first oil change early, like 3,000 miles, or that's what my dad does it at. That's why I want to do it at, but I think a little bit early won't hurt him. Plus, I would like to do a tire rotation after um, doing that. So I will be doing a oil change tire rotation. I'll have a couple things looked at too. One being the tail light alignment, you know, because I did read in the comments saying some people that um, you can actually have that adjusted, so we'll see if they can adjust that, fix that. And the other thing is this right here, if you... Every time you get in and out of the car, the seat right here rubs like in, like really loud. It's really loud when you first get in and out. And I mean, like look, I can fit my whole hand right through over here. And right here, not at all really. So I just want to see maybe this can be adjusted and um, that's pretty much it. I also will say um, my radio has restarted four times, like just while driving, it just restarted, like rebooted. And one time it came up saying Chrysler on it. So I'm just gonna tell them about that, see what they can do. But I really would just want to go take it all in and see what kind of loaner car I get. Cause I did pay like $300 extra on the oil change package, whatever. So I should get a loaner or rental type vehicle. So we'll see what we get today. First, before I go, I've had these badges on for about since like two weeks after I got my car, these little Challenger badges here. And they're like eight bucks off um, Amazon. And I just feel like, you know, it's time for a change. Had these on for a while. I mean, they're not that nice looking. They're kind of, they're just really cheap plastic. So let's take them off. Here you go, got me a little rag here to just kind of clean up afterwards, but let's see how hard this is going to be to take these off. Ooh. Oh no, it's leaving a bunch of residue. Oh no, no, it's ripping it off. See, these things are really, they're $8 and I feel like I've gotten my money's worth off of them, so let's see. Looks like not all the residue is coming off. Here, let's, there we go, just got it off. Still has some residue there, but here's the badge, the back side of it. A lot there. Let's get this clean up and let's get the other side. So this side came off pretty easy. You can barely even tell it was there. Like I can see a tiny little bit of markings there, but I'm gonna take this to the car wash because this thing is dirty. We'll see after that. But this side on the other hand must have been in the sun a little bit more because I just peeled it off and none of that stuff came off. So let's see if this side will see what we can do here. So this one was a little bit harder. I ended up having to use some Goo Gone here and as you can see there's a little bit of residue from the Goo Gone but that should come off after we go wash it but dang. There we go. Looks like it's all gone. After first taking off the first one on the other side it was like oh I'd recommend these still. It was pretty easy to take off. This one on the other hand I think this side gets a lot more sun so it was a lot harder to take off, so I wouldn't recommend them if you want to take them off afterwards. But now that we got these babies off, let's go get her clean. Probably going to have to fill her up, and let's go right to the dealership. All clean. Got the gas station right here. Just picked one 209 a gallon, but... I barely made it here. Right at 30 miles, it just said low range and never stopped. And it's been a while, but let's see what kind of MPG we get too. So why not? All filled up, and the end result, I just did it, um, the calculations on my phone, was actually 19.2, so it's one mile per gallon off. I think that's pretty good. I did a lot of city driving, a lot of highway driving, went 327 miles, and also a burnout in the middle, so pretty good, 19.2. Also just happened to see another Challenger, cool scat pack. Nice Corvette right there, look at that. Beautiful color. Definitely in Scottsdale now, look at that Porsche. This guy's just staring it down, it's hilarious. Love you, dude. Love this car. Here we are, look at all them Jeeps. Ooh, look at that, go green right there, go green. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's take her in. Okay, just got out of service here, just got it all done. As you can see, it didn't drive in any. Let's see if they reset the, let's see. They reset the oil life, there we go, okay, that's all good. But, um, so we just ended up just doing an oil change and filter, oil filter and tire rotation, which is good, considering the burnout. And um, all the other things I wanted looked at, like the seat thing and um, 
tail light and also I did say something about the Uconnect and um, they said they wanted to do that so I'm actually having an appointment for next week so I guess we'll be doing a video then. They also didn't want to give me a loaner car at all. I might, may edit something in here, we'll see. But um, they didn't want to give me a loaner car. They said I didn't have one and it showed up I didn't have one. I ended up going to talk to my sales guy, Ben Dayton over there. You're all good. Huh? He just didn't have it itemized correctly in there. That's why it oh. wasn't coming up in the system that he had it. So. Oh, okay. So bring that down to the end cashier and you're all good to go. I'll get along. All right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. We'll take cool. care of you down there. Thank Let you. Me, if for some reason they say anything, just come grab me. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. much. And he sorted it all out and now it shows I actually have it now, which is nice considering I did pay for it. So it shows I do have rental, uh, rental car and loaner and everything, which is good. And um, so we got all that done. I should get a loaner on the um, next service. So I think I might just make this a two, or just put this all in one video because no sense in having, you know, next week another same exact service appointment and everything. So next week we'll be coming right back here. Look at all these beautiful cars they have right there. Look at that destroyer gray one. Awesome. What is that yellow jacket right there? Ah, such nice cars. But we'll be coming back here next week. I think I'll just make this all in the same video, so one second for you guys, but we'll be coming back here. We'll see what kind of loaner we get, get those other little things looked at, and everything will be all good. So see you in probably just a second. Okay, one second for you guys, a week for me. We are back at the dealership, gonna have the couple things here looked at, and have the squeak looked at, the tail light fitment, and the radio here looked at, and let's go drop it off. Okay, so there he is, just dropped it off. Look at that beautiful pipe right there. Got a little bit of footage of it. Dang, that thing is, wow. There she is. Here we are getting the rental. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just got out of the dealership. They couldn't give me a loaner at the dealership because they actually have some loaners there because I'm under 21, but they took me over here to rent a prize and now I actually have a loaner vehicle through them. They were able to give me a loaner and I have a Dodge Grand Caravan, I think is what it's called, a minivan. They have that right there, but they weren't able to give it to me because it's already reserved See so this guy was getting in there right now, but let's see, put this, this thing is so weird, but this is what we got. The only other things they had are offering a trade. I could have gotten a trade for this for a Chrysler 200, which I just didn't want to go through the hassle for it. And the other thing, they had a RT at another little enterprise area, an RT challenge charger, which I'd be like, yes, I want it. But he's like, oh, the depart the um, branch manager is probably driving that one home and he won't let it go. So that's what happened. So I didn't get the RT and this Dodge right here, this is my caravan for the day. Woo, look at this, can carry like seven people or something. They should call me sometime today or tomorrow when it gets done, so let's go. I think I'm going to go make a little review of this Dodge Caravan, see, what, see what's up on it. I'm going to go for the drive home. Should be a long drive, so I should have some miles behind it. Just getting off the freeway here. Going to go back to the dealership. They ended up calling me up um, yesterday, last night, about an hour before they closed, saying that um, they are able to adjust the tail light. The little thing between the center console and the seat, they said it's normal, like it's within their you know, Chrysler thing, so it's just gonna have to wear. They said it's probably because it's new leather. And they said actually my Uconnect had an update that needed to be done, so that should be updated, so it should fix any type of you know randomly turning off or whatever. But that's pretty much it. We're gonna go hit the dealer, pick it up, see if it's all good and everything, put a little before and after on the tail light, and um, we're gonna go return this little caravan drive in here. Um, definitely check out the review. I'm gonna do. Or I already did a review on it. it. Should be up here pretty soon. So check that out. And here we are back at Air Park. Ooh, love the color on that Jeep right there. That Rubicon. All those nice Ram trucks. Just pulled up and look. There she is. She's right over there, backed in. Go drop this off. So we can actually just drop this off at the dealership, even though it is just a rental. Look at this. Another Viper over there getting its service done on it. Another beautiful car, man. But my car is just right over here. That's a nice scat pack right here. Here's my car. So we just got it all done. Let's see, does tail light look better? Looks a little bit better. I'll have to put it up before and after here. Looks pretty good. Looks better than it did. Everything, everything. Everything looks all good. Just ready to go. 
to try out my new remote start now that I got it here. Oh my gosh, this thing makes a weird noise now. Look at this. Huh. Does it do that with this on? Well, that's weird. I guess it does like a weird noise whenever you have the front defroster on. They had the front defroster on, they had a bunch of things on. It was kind of weird. But here we are, cold seat already turned on everything. So they did reset the radio or they didn't reset it, it had an update available, so they re-updated my radio, so it's all weird now. It's on some FM station there. But everything looks good, they drove it one mile. The seat here, still close up, but oh well. Just glad it got all fixed and everything. Oh, dash cam's still plugged in and going, so it probably has a little dash cam footage of them in it, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for the charger. Got my first service, oil change, and everything done. If we can go up here, we can see it. Got the tire rotation done, which was definitely needed after that um, burnout there. Definitely wanted to get the tires rotated, but go here. See oil life, 98%. Just got it done last week. And this week, got this done. Dropped off the um, rental there. And this they said they couldn't do anything about. And still makes a little squeak, but it's not as bad as it was, I think. And tail light, we'll see. I'll put some before and after of that in. And... As far as Uconnect, I guess it's been updated and everything. Make sure everything's all working in the car. And that's pretty much it for you guys. Um, definitely subscribe for more Challenger content. As this is going up, I'm actually installing the paddle shifters. They are being installed, or I'm installing them, making a whole video on them as this video is going up. So it'll be up probably next week after this. And probably expect the um, little review on the um, Grand Caravan there. Did some funny things in that. And... Um, that's it you guys um like subscribe S definitely guys subscribe if you um, want to see more challenger content just more videos on this car here and um definitely like if you liked it and dislike if you disliked i guess and also follow me on instagram and twitter i'll have the links down in the description below see you guys later peace out and if anything out of this whole you know going back to the dealer should be another car at least anything i got my radio updated which is pretty nice i got a new software right there if you guys can see it new software update right there so that's pretty good because i probably won't be coming back to the dealer and then i'm going to be tasering the car soon so definitely don't want to i want to have the newest version basically is what i'm trying to say but yeah everything's good I've got my phone plugged into the apple carplay right now and look it makes my screen go black it's weird because i'm videotaping well plugged into the car it's kind of weird but yeah see you guys later